Hello, everyone. I'm Rob Smith, in the Black Hornet VTF here at T3 Live, and we got uh, halfway through the month, we got some groups in here. Uh, you can see here SPY doing nothing, and so there's kind of three groups of stocks that are things that are going on here. Things that are doing nothing, like SPY here, Doji, Inside, Inside, and then you've got the WIXs of the world and the shops and the docus and all these things ripping into new highs. And then you've got the decimated corpses like American Airlines and stuff like that. So the question is, can you keep shorting some of this stuff into the dirt and buying things that are going blasting off? But let's take a look. So SPY, so we know inside doing nothing here on the month. And if you go to the weekly, now we have an outside week. That's something we can build on, get this broadening formation going. And so on a daily, that's going to look like this. It's going to be real tight. It's going to be coming off of this. And like so off of here outside day which is i believe lower than that so here this is an outside bar of all that these are an outside ball, ball, bar of all that this needs to grow so on a short-term basis if we can start coming up here this is an outside bar that's back into an old broadening formation so maybe we can shoot up here but we'll see in general doing nothing cues better all right better cues take out last month's highs and for the week doing nothing <laughs> right so we're staying and it's pretty much on the stocks here daily got a little t2 reversal we'll see if it comes back up in the old three something like that apple and apple is potentially pretty good here you got you're still inside month to the upside right and on the weekly here doing nothing that's bad <laughs> but here to start off the week you're closer to a 2-2 reversal daily because this is a two down and comes back up. If it takes this out, you're back through previous range, and that could be, make for a nice move. People stopped against that, that, and that, and boom, take them right up. We'll see. Uh, I've got a small cappers. Ugh. Small cappers here. It's doji inside, inside month. It's doing nothing. Uh, if we go to TLT, took the month down. How are you going to get outside of this month's range? Nowhere near doing that. Uh, if we go to VXX. VXX took the month down and then pops back up a little bit. And so this is more of a walker downer. So you can see this 2-2 back down. So you can see just like uh, the VIX or anything, when you get the pops up, then we can get them back, pop them up, back them up, pop them up, and see if we can back this thing back through here. Uh, we'll see. And re-break that month. Dow Jones Diamonds. Doing nothing. Inside, inside month. Boeing, trying sitting right on that inside month to the downside, but just slow deteriorator. <laughs> Slowly deteriorating. I have an inside day to start the week. Uh, Cat Tractor, also here having some issues and trying to go shoot her down on the month here below that and still hanging around there. Just fight back a little bit. And you get weekly, tries to hammer if it wants to fight back up, but uh, we'll see the monthly versus the weekly. Because you also have John Deere here on the month inside month and down the problem is these big mother bars how are you going to get out of that and that's why you're seeing a lot of churn back and forth all right home depot there you go give me the inside month and up and trying to go back blasting towards new highs and so what you do is you wait for corrective activity and there you go two down and this is what i was talking about like what apple sets up so two down but you come back up here and then on friday it opens which is good you want to open inside and then take it out because you want to stop them them and them out, and that's what she did there in Home Depot on Friday. Johnny John, Johnny John, in general, doing nothing. But you do have this Rev Strat weaker one two. See if they want to take that up a little bit. You can watch that with XLV as well, because uh, the other problems you got stuff like Humana that just goes blasting into the highs. You know, so as I said, a lot of stuff is just exhaustion risk ripping into the highs. So we'll see. Uh, if we go to the trannies, out trannies. Still inside, inside month and red. And we know the usual suspects over there. And you got Alaska Air here still. See if we can get this rebreak below 23.58 on the monthly. American just corpsing into the lows. <laughs> You've got uh, Delta here with the inside month and down. Just exhaustion risk going through that. United Airlines, Spirit Airlines month and down. Uh, to see if they just want to wipe them all out. Uh, FedEx. Also trying to go month and down here, and that's below 107.69. You're there right now. If you go to the Ute, do a little inside, inside in the middle, and you do have ED that's taken out the month to the downside if you want to go after something like that. VNQ REIT. 
V and Q uh, still inside inside month, but we got some winners, got some losers over there too. You got BXP here taking the inside month to the downside. Going to start off as an inside day. If they want to keep pounding it. DLR and DLR on the month here still inside the month. But we're getting closer, and the reason we want to watch this is because this was an outside month. I think it was three, two, two down into here. Then we got real problems in this thing. So uh, we'll see. Uh, if we go to EXR, also inside month and down. PSA is also inside month and down in the REITs. If we go to the financials, doing nothing. Look at FAS and XLF here. KRE here, doing nothing. These are stuck. KRE a little bit weaker. Uh, but if we go to JP Morgan, you're going to see this still. Pokes down below the month, doesn't fall apart. We'll see. A lot of things did some inside days for Monday, so... With these big ranges on Thursday, so we'll see how that goes. You got Wells Fargo here still, puker, inside month to the downside, just exhaustion risk because it's pounding into the lows. Citicorp still inside, Bank of America doing nothing. You've got BK close to taking out the monthly low here, below 31.38. You've got BMO Harris Bank inside month and down right now and inside day. U.S. Bank. Here, taking out the inside month. Capital One, still doing nothing, but you do have this for some hopes of some action. The RevStrat, one, two, hammer to see if it wants to come back up there. With MA, inside weaker. And with MA, you can watch that, obviously, with the Visa to see if we can take this month over 285, because the Visa does this. Inside 212 month to the upside. Now, weekly, inside Momo Hammer, if they want to start blasting those things again. If you go to Chubb, and the insurer, monthly, it's still month and down, albeit hammer on the week. We'll see if they want to try and take that down. You got Aon here trying to go the other way, coming up on the inside month. Still, you be aware of these mother bars like this. You ain't never getting out. You might never get out of some of this stuff. And so we're going to be very aware of that. Travelers, that's inside month to the downside. Martian McClendon, MMC, is inside month and up. You've got uh, Ameritrade. Here, still inside, inside month, and we'll see if they want to take that out, getting closer to it. Ameriprise Financial went above the inside month and then comes back in, and now it gives you this. Here, inside week hammer, if there's any hope, walker back up. You'd have an inside week and inside month and up if they can take it. And even Mr. Warren Buffett, Berkey B. Yeah. Berkey B, mm. inside month to the downside, and like many things, uh, from Friday, inside day. So we've got a lot of inside days to start off uh, the new week. If we go to the XME, you know, all thrills and chills here. Uh, XME monthly, doing nothing. But we do have gold. Gold's still going here. So uh, just going into recent highs here. So we'll see about that because it's been on these weeklies. Finally trying to get out of this stuff here. These two inside weekers here formed a two-week inside pattern. It gets above that. Uh, silver getting interesting here. Now silver does this monthly. Now you got a 212 reversal in silver. USLV, more bang for the buck here. Uh, so that's a good thing. So the question is, once again, how far down the food chain are they going to go? Because they're going to RGLD and Newmont. We know they've just been rippers. And we'll see if there's a little bit more on that. Our GLD would be an inside week, and Newmont just ripping. So the question is then, do we go down the food chain a little bit? You got CDE here going 212 inside month and up. You've got EGO still inside month there, but you're going to start off the week. Here's RevStrat 1, 2. You've got HL, Heckle Mining, and that is coming up here on the month. 212 reversal inside over 276. HMY also coming up on the inside month out of that stuff. And inside week to start 3 1 outside. So you got your try and you got your consolidation. So we'll see how far down the food chain they want to go. Speaking about down the food chain, crude. And UCO, you can barely see it. So <laughs> right here, it's crude fighting back. Oops. And usually because of all this reverse split and garbage, I like to see this on the weekly. When inside week and up and then higher high, all three and stuff stuck in here. So if you go to SCO, a little bit easier to see on this kind of thing. And for the month here, 
start to drop. This is negative, so that means that's good. It's just handily inside, so we'll see uh, if SEO wants to keep giving it up because the XLE, if you go to the monthly, ugh, doing nothing, OIH, XOP, just flatline corpses, so we'll see what comes of that. You got Chevron here, still handily inside month. Doing nothing. Axon, inside, inside month, doing nothing. If anything, Emirate Hess, inside, inside, you just have potential rev strata if they want to take it up, but not too exciting. XEC would also be rev strata if these things can get going at all. Slob Corpse, doing nothing. Halliburton, Corpse, doing nothing. Uh, MPC in the refiners, you do have an inside week to see if anything comes of that, but once again, you get to the middle of the month. And you've got this. That's a problem, right? So we'll see how that goes. Um, Natty, a little more interesting here with the gas. The outside month and coming back up through it. So maybe we can get a little collapse out of the Natty. And this was really nice, nice, nice one last week. Uh, the 2-2 reversal on that here. Over that, and you can see this here here. If we can get going on this triangle. That's a nice move. 100, point, 100 bucks or more in the gas if we can get the natty to fall apart. XRT Retail. Monthly. Still inside, but green. Uh, so if we go to Target. Target, 3-2 to the upside. Still walking up. Just kind of chopping around in here, though. Daily chop shop. And so as long as you just wait for the correct activity and then back up and some of this stuff. Costco dead in the middle. Here. Here. Inside, inside month and dead in the middle doing nothing. Walmart. And Walmart trying to walk up. Green on the month. Uh, you can see on the daily though it's kind of just walking and stuck in here. So we'll see. Uh, if we go to, yeah, we got some of the, the winners. Tractor Supply. And Tractor Supply is going to go gunning for all-time highs here. Right into here and go take out 114.25. A little bit more left on that. Uh, wing Stop. Or should I say Don't Stop. <laughs> wing Stop. Just get. Uh, you're an inside Momo Hammer. You're just going into the highs. So we'll see. And once again, if you wait for a corrective activity, you get this. There's your two down and then boom, back to previous range. And that's what you look for on Friday over 122.99. Not a bad little... We'll move there for that. Lowe's with Home Depot is still inside month to the upside. Big lots. Big lots still come, trying to come back up through this range. Green and a two on the month. You can see this was a nice reversal down in here. Now to form another outside bar. We'll take these guys out here. 30-44. So maybe we'll get something out of that. KSS and corpses. I'm looking at this one. It's like corpse. You do it would have a rev strat weaker though, is if they want to wake it up. And you've got uh, TJ Maxx. Also, it would be rev stratter here. Problem is the month, of course. Here, inside, inside. If we go to IBB, IBB still a winner, just stalling out top of the try style. And but you got Labu that takes the inside month and got more up into there if they want to get this thing going. Abvi still inside month to the upside. That's the stuff we want. AGIO from last week did what it was supposed to do on the weekly, and this is what you look for. The outside bar, this is a slight higher high here. The outside bar, then poke down, then three, two, two reversal, and when it comes up, now these two weeks are an outside bar of all that, you see? So that worked very nicely, and the good thing about it was it's also going to trigger the inside mount there. So we can get back above this here, that 47.50 in AGIO. Cardinal House, here you go. Look at this weekly. Outside bar pokes down, pokes down, comes all the way back. Here's your broadening formation in all its glory. And so if you go to the daily, you're going to see this. Let's see if that starts working back through there. EXAS. Inside day, just slow creepers like a lot of things. But inside month to the upside for that. GH, still inside month, the upside, there you go. We've got GWPH here. And so here you can see this was a two down, two up, two, and you're coming back into this, outside month. So that's your try, if we can try and shoot for that, which would be pretty nice. That's 132.05, so still doing the creeper, and you can see this when you go to the weekly here. 
So you can see like that, right? And so you got this. So the question is, can you be strong enough to take all this and complete up into there? We'll see. ILMN, ILMN, a nice inside week to the upside, still in the monthly after the 2-2 reversal here, which is very nice. Still walking up, and here's an outside bar here and here. If I'm going to come all ripping back through here, and this here is 339.63. Nectar. This inside monthly, the upside not doing too much, but above 2067, still there. And you can see, once again, you get your corrective activity on the daily. Bring it in, and 2-2 two, two back up. And now these two are an outside bar of that. Okay, if we go to, all right, we've got to keep an eye on these guys. NVAX did its job, and you can see this on the gap. Goes inside day here, and then when it opens, and then takes that and that and that all in one shot. Boom. Anybody short this thing, we're stopped against all those points, and they got taken out. Now it's a matter whether the buyers step up again. Marna still MRNA, hanging near the highs. You can see that MRNA, so we'll keep an eye on that for more setups. And I know still new, moving around here after last week's inside week and up and TDOC. Two week inside pattern, so we'll see that's still inside month, but you're starting off as an inside day, like a lot of things, and coming back to a previous range and an outside bar. If we go to Regeneron, still going, Regeneron monthly. Still trying to gun for new highs, like so. Once again, six hundred five ninety three. Got another thirty bucks or so there. Sarepta, and Sarepta. This is an example of how to look for things and know what's going on instead of reading a chart, analyzing data. So you can see this here when it comes back up on this monthly here, right through a previous range. Boom, 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 boom. Take them all out, pivot machine gun style, right? So it does that on the weekly by coming up through all this stuff. And then what happens here is like, why does it fail? This is what exhaustion risk is. Once you go blasting up into here and you stop a bunch of people out, if the buyer doesn't step up, you get your two, two down, two up, two down. Then you get your inside bar and there's your corrective activity. And then boom, inside two, one, two. And you get the guys who stopped here, here, here and take them all out in one shot on Friday. That was very nice. We go to tech, XLK. So XLK on the monthly, still inside month to the upside, back into an old outside uh, month there. If you go to SMH, look at that, inside month doing nothing, all right? Which you do have an inside day to start off, so maybe we get something out of that, but uh, just be aware of that. Facebook, and there's your corrective action, 2-2 two, two day, and monthly here, just a two-monther, and the week doing nothing. So just be aware of that. And once again, you just keep doing the... Wait for him to come in, and there's your 2-2 two -two day. Uh, if you go to Amazon, Amazon's stuck in this try. How are we going to get out of here? Like so, you can see this here, and all this stuck into here, right? So this is all an inside bar of this, these three. So either side of this, whichever side starts racing towards, we can go towards. Go to Netflix. Oh, yeah. Netflix still just going in into the highs inside year and upper. And I'll get to that at the end of this uh, thing here. So you can see Rev Strat weaker here. One, two, and back into the highs. So just exhaustion risk up in there. Google doing nothing on the week and still fighting this here to try and be inside month it up, which it is. If you go to NVIDIA, another year and upper, and just some exhaustion risk as it goes into new highs and once again, this is nice here. Two up, two down, inside, bam, on Friday. Not too hard, right? Agilent, letter A, just keeping track of all the inside month to the upsides. Adobe, still inside month to the upside. AYX, flirting with that inside month to the upside. Sienna, from last week here. Takes the inside week up and then... Uh, when you go way back on a bunch of these charts, you got to go see if it's going to be, oops, I said way back. Here you go. Used to be somebody up in, yeah, <laughs> in 2000, dot com or bubbles, and so you can see uh, stuff like that. So, you know, well, we'll see. And if we go back to um, CRM, CRM. It's the inside month and upper list. 
You can see there's some exhaustion. So you took that and took that. The question could be strong enough for this, so we'll see if that regroups. And you got a big week to get out of, so unfortunately there's a big acreage in there, and all you got to do is wait for it to come in and go T2 back up. Boom, there you go. Uh, if you go to Cyber, Cyber, they got them good in this one. Cyber goes does this. Breaks the inside month and then comes back in. So here on the weekly, you got this big outside bar, right? So that's a try, right? So the question is, can you start climbing back through that on the daily? And here you got an inside day if they want to try and come back up. If they just stopped them all out or if that was just the for reals player and back down through all this stuff. If we go to GoDaddy. GoDaddy just kind of rotting away up in here, but it's, it's on the list. Inside month and upper and it's been higher. LRCX, I'm a little careful on this one just because of the inside, inside month and the SMH doing nothing, but you got this daily try to keep an eye on here. How are you going to get outside of this bar? Here's your inside day, right? And then if it starts racing towards that or that, we'll know what to do. If we go to Motorola MSI, that's one of the few, the proud, almost inside month and downers. So this would get our attention here below 123.56. You got some room on that. Uh, if we go to Palo Alto... Palo Alto did the 2-2 last month, still coming up, and this is an old outside bar here. So trying to climb that wall of worrying all the way back up. So far, slow and steady on the weekly, and we'll see if there's anything more to it. If we go to Teradyne and Semis, not doing too much here, but um, you can keep an eye on something like this here. If it starts coming back up through here, if these things wake up. Corvo. And Corvo, inside weaker, and that's pretty far to get up there. But if it comes back down on the monthly, trying to either come back into this old range, you can see they stopped them out here, but good, and couldn't get up into there. So either side of that week is going to have my attention. If we go to SQ, SQ, there's your inside month to the upside still working. Roku. So Roku on the month goes up and comes back in, so not doing too much on the Rokes, but here's a daily try. and keep an eye on this thing. Sale. I say IL. That is inside month to the upside. SEDG getting close. One up there, so we'll see if we get a rebreak on 122.78. Splunker. Inside month to the upside, trying to gun for highs, and once again. It's not too hard, folks. Wait for them to come in. Two down, two up. Boom. You win. Okay, just a few more. AAXN. And where do you think you're going? And they bring this thing all the way back in. In the weekly. Here. This is an outside bar, and this is a two up. It's closer to going two, two down to see if we can come down and take all of that stuff out, which would be nice. ABMD. Not doing too much, but would be rev strat to the downside here. The weed waking up ACB, and ACB coming up, a lot of volume, which means that it's just waking up. It's not an indicator it's going to keep going, and you can look at something like this. Like so. And the good thing is they usually all go together, so you can watch your CGC, which does this, weekly rev strat, inside and then down hammer. If they want to start bringing this thing back up and see what the cron's doing. See if Kron wakes up off that hammer. Uh, if we go to ACMR. ACMR, one of the other one of them rippers. And uh, the monthly, here it was. One, two, rev strat, and now continuing up. And just an inside day to see if there's any more in the tank there. Archer Daniels Midland. Didn't think they'd be doing well, but right now. It poked down on the inside month here below 33.51. APPN, just another 212, inside month to the upside, AYI, and this is a, still stuck down in here, but we might get the re-break of the month below 7282, that would be nice, BCO, still month and down are coming black through there, so we'll see if they want to continue that, BG Bongi. Inside month to the downside, and an inside week to see if they want to finish it off and go into some more new lows. Clorox, bleach, get, there you go. Inside month to the upside, trying to go into the highs. Monster, also an inside month to the upside. Once again, 
How do I get it at it, Rob? Wait for it to correct and then go T2. Hammer back up, see? Okay, if we go to RCL, yeah, I know. Pretty much a corpse on the month, all right? We know that, but every once in a while they go, what's the news? And here they go, Revster at them and trying to take her up a little bit. We'll see. DraftKings. This thing blasting into the highs, and so uh, it moves around enough. you got exhaustion risk, but certainly moves around enough to keep an eye on for trading it. And this is a nice inside day to the upside on Friday, over 27.25. Boom, there you go, two bucks. Uh, ECL. ECL, a little tight in here, but potential combination because you've got an inside week, inside inside week, and if you can take that out, then you go after the inside month here above 199.95. Well, it might be all over. GE, inside month and down. This thing starts b b breaking below five bucks. Might set some volume records on dumping, so we'll see what happens to that. PS, just an inside month or to the upside with a weekly combo. Inside week to try and take these guys out. May as well draw it. There's your PS broadening formation. TME, TME, going inside month to the upside here over 11.54. TMUS, inside month or to the upside, got a little bit more room for new highs, and you've got an inside week Momo Hammer here. Try and come take that out. Whirlpool, it's Rev Strat week. Honeywell. Honeywell, boy, then chop them up and get in here, and you get the monthly like this here. This goes inside month and down below 125.50. You're right there right now. Let's see if there's any more weakness there. PRLB. You always like to come back to ranges like this because, you know, there can be a lot of stop guys in here. All right, so it's coming back up. And once again, if you go to the weekly, you're going to see this. Here, two-week inside pattern Momo Hammer. Let's see if we can come up blasting through all this kind of stuff, right? And if you go back to that monthly, you'll see this. This is an outside month. That's a triangle itself. So I'm going to come up and try and take out 114.75 on this. And once again, corrective activity, two down, boom. Take these guys out. That's how you do that. Okay, if we go to URI. URI. Still inside, inside month, but you do set up the rough strat. One, two, two, back up over 119.03. Tesler. Tesler, two week pattern would be rev strat to the downside. You got big range to get out of here. Uh, and so Tesla, still handily inside month, but we know how that baby moves around and then just takey profits. Okay, and last for today, as you've followed me, if you followed me for a while, we have a. There's always going to be a sequence of things we're going after. And so that's how you're narrowing down your universe. So last month, we're going after anybody taking out the March highs. Uh, this month, we're going for the two one twos because they had the cons consolidation, the inside month and upper. But what some people will choose to do, I make a macro video once a month, right? And so if you look at anything that's going inside year to the upside, that's good all year. That, signals, that means you've had your consolidation. It's good all year. So you'll notice Amazon inside year to the upside still going you've got netflix here was an inside year consolidation to the upside we've got uh qdel here look at this xlrn catching on here so for some people this is the only universe they need and could because you can stay on it all year what's going on here jkhy there you go, JKHY, that's nice. So uh, you may choose to do that because uh, that's where the real power is. It means you had a consolidation for a year, and now you're blasting to the upside, and the market tanked. You already had the, you already had the correction against uh, what these things would be doing, but you can see inside year and upper, Clorox, thank you, bleach. So you might choose to do that. All right, it's going to do it for today. I'm Russ with the Black Corners VTF here at T2 Live.